Welcome back, peeps. Thank you everybody for tuning in to the Band of Bros channel, where we're always taking a look at the newest tips and tricks in Modern Warfare and Warzone mode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what is the best sniper in Modern Warfare Warzone. We're going to be taking a look at the HCR versus the SPR 208. I did want to wait a little bit just to release this video because the SPR did release a series of nerves and all those kind of things. Usually what happens when a new gun is released. So I wanted to make sure this gun was set in stone and this is basically how Call of Duty wanted to leave it. So that's why I just waited a little bit to make this video. Let me know down below in the comments before we do start off with the comparison. What is your favorite sniper rifle? And with that being said, remember to like this video and to subscribe if you are enjoying and as well because if you guys didn't know 91% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed yet so if you guys do it would deeply help me out a lot but with that being said let's jump right into this video So before we do get into the comparison, we're going to be going over a couple of things in this video. We're going to be going over the general terms on what each sniper is for. We're going to be going into the comparison. I'm going to be showing you guys what uh, weapon loadout I chose for this, uh, which obviously I did basically pimp out both of the guns. And then at the end, we're going to go just to my personal thoughts on which one I think is the best sniper. I love them both, so I'm not biased uh, towards any of them. Um, I actually have been recently using the SPR a little bit more, but we'll get that in. We'll get into that a little bit later. So first off. I just want to let you guys know that the HCR, obviously, the, these are two different kinds of guns, right? The, the guns perform a little bit differently depending on what you want to do. The H, the um, the SPR is a little bit more of a mobile kind of Quaker gun per se. That that is what you would use it. The HCR definitely because it has that increased bullet velocity and that further range. This one you you would usually get those longer range shots, right? That that's usually what it's for. But let's jump into the important, into the juicy stats. So let's jump into the class setups that I made and then let's go ahead and compare them. So, all right, here we're going to go into the class setups, and this is the exact same class that I put into True Game Data. Again, True Game Data is the most reliable website that provides you with these stats. So, for the HDR, we're going to have the Monolith Suppressor. Obviously, like I was saying at the beginning, I, I will be using fully decked out of these weapons because the base models, is, it wouldn't be fair to test out the base models because the, the, the SPR is actually one of the worst ma marksman rifles in the game if you don't have any attachments on it. So, let's jump into this. So, for the HDR, I got the Monolith Suppressor. Suppressor again increasing range for the HDR. The for the barrel, I got the 26.9. I got the tack laser, I got the F tack stalker scope, which again, none of the other ones give us anything really useful, but I like that aim down side speed increase. And then for the perk, we got fully loaded, which obviously in true game data, I didn't select anything. Uh, next up, let's go into the SPR. For the SPR, I've got the monolithic suppressor, again, giving us the most range. Then we got the SPR-26, again, the most range in its class. We got the TAC laser. And for the optic, we don't have this one. This is actually the class setup that I use, for which if you guys want to watch it and watch some gameplay, I'll put the link in the video right now. But we're going to go ahead and use the Solo Zero SPR-28 because this is the regular uh, high-powered sniper scope for this class setup. And then for the uh, stock, we got nothing per nothing bolt assembly nothing and for the ammunition the most important one is we got the 0.338 lapua mag and so this is going to be the classes that we're going to be comparing so now let's jump into true game data so, all right, let's take a look first uh, to the kind of like just this side by side comparison on these stats, and then we'll go into the more important things. So, first off, off the range modifier. So, again, these are the stats that I, the the, the uh, attachments that I just showed you for the range modifier. Actually, the SPR does give it a little bit of an advantage. It does give you one percent more than the HDR. Again, an additional range. It doesn't mean that the Lapua has one percent more range. All right, next up for the ADS, the HDR will be just a little tad slower than aiming than the SPR. Next up, we're going to be going with the um, with the sprint to fire time. And again, the HDR going to be a little bit slower in that one. Tactical sprint to fire time, again, a little bit slower in that one. Movement speed, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So aiming and, and getting your weapon ready and, and getting your scope ready, the HDR is slower, but you actually run faster with the HDR, which seems kind of weird because the HDR seems like a fat sniper, you know, like a juicy, powerful sniper. So 
I'm not sure what the what, what how they how they work it out with the stats if they put a guy running and let's see who runs faster, which is gonna but that is the way it works. And then the ADS movement speed again, uh it's gonna be faster with the HDR. And then the vertical recoil, there is definitely a lot less recoil with the HDR. And I can definitely notice that when I'm hitting my shots with the HDR, it's definitely a lot easier to get those follow-up shots. Now, if you're talking about no scopes and stuff like that, the hip fire obviously is gonna be huge in the HDR with 122, and then with the SPR, we've got 34, which is significant less now when we're talking about bullet velocity which is the speed that the bullet travels to hit that enemy that means the higher the bullet velocity the easier the less bullet lead you'll have to do to your enemy we got 1208 meters per second for the hdr and we've got 1055 for the Lapua. So actually the HDR definitely gonna be a lot easier to hit this one. So looking at these stats, oh yeah, and their reload time being a little bit faster in the SPR as well. Now looking at these stats, what does this mean? This means that the SPR beats it in aiming down sight and, and getting your weapon ready to shoot. All right, so what are we talking about? We are talking about if you wanna be quick scoping, if you are a sniper that is on the move a lot. Next up for the running, so which one you will run faster with, and that is the HDR. Now, which sniper will provide you the less recoil? What does less recoil mean? Less recoil means that you will be able to acquire your target a lot easier. So if you miss that first shot, you're gonna be able to track your target again and hit them a lot easier. The HDR wins in that aspect. If you're trying to do some quick scopes, no scopes, the 360 jump off the wall, whatever, blah, 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 uh, the hip fire definitely gonna be a lot better with the SBR. And if you're talking about you want to make sure you have the best sniper because you don't want a bullet lead, you want to shoot the bullet and it hits your target, you're going to be choosing the HDR for that one. Now let's go into where things get a little bit interesting. We we're going to go here into view base uh, base stats comparison. All right. So these are basically the base weapon stats, uh, which is pretty important. So this one shows you basically the, for example, uh, from this is where I'm going to explain it to you. All right, all right. Because you guys can just jump into this website and see for yourself but there's something that i want to explain to you guys as you guys can see the lapua weapon stats have a lot more damage profiles these things right here they're damage profiles what does this mean that the damage profile is that from 0 to 30 meters it's going to cause a specific amount of damage these are the damage per shots from 30 to 38 meters is going to cause a certain amount of shots and again so on and so on if you take a look at the hdr it only has two damage profiles what is this going to mean it means that the hdr is definitely going to be a lot more consistent with those shots so that is why it's going to be really really that, that's kind of what it's going to give the hdr the are the the edge so if we take a look from 0 to 100 in this one and then from 0 to 30 definitely the lapua beats it right because from close range in the chest um the the lapua is going to be doing a lot more damage for the stomach the hdr is going to be doing a little bit more um but for the extremities the spr is going to be doing a little bit more as well so as far as this one goes from close range i mean this is the third the zero to 30 meters the spr will definitely do a little bit more damage now again if we take a look at one more still the same thing it beats him in the chest but it loses in the stomach and the extremities it starts losing from 30 to 38 now once we jump into the 38 to 74 which starts Starts getting a little bit further away still it gets a little bit gets quite a bit more damage in the chest but as you guys can see the stomach and the extremities it definitely starts losing uh some power so so far up to right here what does this mean this means that if you can hit your shots right if you're a guy that is always hitting in the head or around the, around the chest, but I mean for sure, for sure. I mean you're a, you are American sniper. You do not miss your shots. Then maybe that's why you want to use the SPR because yeah, definitely. If you can get that one shot headshot, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be down for both of the snipers. But if you can get into the upper chest area, which this the SPR is definitely gonna do a lot more damage. And this is why I've been using the SPR lately because I have been hitting my sniper shots. I've honestly been hitting them pretty good, pretty sick. Uh, so that's why I've been switching to the SPR lately. I've, I've been loving it, honestly. But again, sometimes I do miss that HDR because as you guys can see, I mean, any, this means in the stomach, if you hit somebody in the stomach twice, they're going to be almost dead. I mean, almost dead with the SPR. Now let's talk about the maximum damage profile for both of the weapons. So again, head and head remains the same at 250. With the chest is where things get a little bit interesting. When you're talking about real sniping, right? Not quick scoping. When you're trying to snipe somebody usually above 100 meters, which is usually what you would use a sniper in Warzone, right? Somebody that's 100 meters or 300 meters, 200 meters. This is the damage profile that we're going to be talking about. And the chest, we've got more damage with the chest with the 
DHDR. And with the SPR, we got less damage. Again, take a look at the significant drop off for the stomach. I mean, look at that. It can, it stayed consistent. The stomach is going to be 103. And the stomach for the Lapua drops down all the way to 55. I don't know if you will know what that means, but that means that if somebody is above the 74 meter mark, which is not that far when you're trying to snipe somebody and you get chest shots, you're going to have to shoot somebody five times in all this area. Either if it's in the legs, in the arms, or in the chest, you're going to have to shoot somebody five times, which is significantly a lot compared to the HDR, three shots. I mean, that is nothing. So that's when things get a little bit interesting. And then the same thing with the extremities, 89 for the HDR and 55 for the SPR. So let's talk about, we, we got all the stats, right? We, we got all the stats and, and, and but, but now let's talk about real, real life usage, right? How do these stats compare into real life? And let's jump into that part. Right, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about the, what are those stats compared to in the real life scenario? So. I think I kind of said it a couple of times, but, but but let me let me reiterate. All right, this is this is basically the, the the base, the most important thing part of this video. When when you want to compare, if you are going to use the HDR or the SPR, so both weapons are good, right? Like I said, in in my videos, I never tell you use this one and you're going to be a pro. What I always say is I you I make you figure out which one is the best sniper for you. All right, because each gun has each specific skills, right? Each gun is going to be different for everybody. So. If you're the kind that somebody that is likes to snipe people, but I mean really snipe people, you know, a hundred meters out, right? Over a hundred meters. If you guys can see right now on the screen, that is 84 meters to the um, I mean to to the to the building and 90 meters to that top part. So a hundred meters isn't really that much. That's why when people see, you know, 30 meters and 70 meters and, and it does more damage, you're like, well, oh, man, you know, that's that's a lot. But I mean, in reality, 100 meters is not a lot when you're playing Warzone, so just keep that in mind, all right? So if you're actually going to be sniping somebody, which usually you are over 100 meters, right? Let's say you're not going to be quick scoping, then I would definitely suggest that HDR for you. As you guys saw, that HDR consistent above 100 meters, and that bullet velocity is definitely going to help you out a lot because usually when you're shooting at people in Warzone, they are going to be moving all over the place and they're going to be running, and you're going to try to hit your shots while that guy is running. That's why it's pretty important if you have that extra bullet velocity and that damage. Now, if you're going to be a more of an aggressive player, right, you, you, you want that sniper to aim quicker, uh, ADS quicker and all that, and you're going to be a, aggressive with it and you're going to be hitting those 50 meter shots, those 40 meter shots, um, then definitely go ahead and select the SPR. And that is why I, I said at the beginning of the video that I switched to the SPR lately. Um, because I've been loving it. I, I love it with the AMAX. It's, it's a really high powered loadout and it, it's been working out pretty good for me. But again, do remember that you have to be accurate just because that chest shot gives you a lot of damage. You do have to be accurate with your shots again, just because with the extremities and with the chest, with the, sorry, with like the stomach area, it doesn't do so good with damage. But if you're aggressive, if you can hit your headshots or your chest shots, you are definitely going to love the SPR a lot. But again, sometimes it does start lacking. Like I said, if you start hitting those really long shots, like 100 meter shots, you can hit them. You know, it's not per se that it's just trash. But as you guys saw in the stats, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to control. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments. What are your thoughts? Which one is your favorite sniper that you've been using? Honestly, I think it just depends on the mood. It just depends what kind of play style you want to use. I don't want to say one is worse than the other one. Hopefully, you guys, you did enjoy this video. And again, like I said, let me know down below in the comments what sniper you are using. Peace out, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next one.